much older. But yeah, six to eight weeks ago, all these reeds were all standing up. Nice and green. And now look at it. All the way around. All pushed over, all just trampled on. Mixed up. And definitely, 100%, these ones were from yesterday. As you can see, it's dried out, and that's just in a few hours. So, this was from last night, yesterday, at the latest. And even that one's dried out. Draw it out. And draw it out. So yeah, these were done yes yesterday I'd say. Last night because um, they were still had a nice shine on them at uh, probably about 11 o'clock and she's probably getting about 3 now so in about 4 hours um, yeah she's dried out so it definitely wasn't the day before so as you can see all the reeds pushed over decimated Absolutely just trashed. All these were nice and green standing up and it's just been mowed through. Let's have a look at this. Just ripped. Things like this, not even to mention what um, they do to the uh, livelihood of our um, much needed farmers, is that they trash the joint, trash the ecosystem. And if that ain't good enough reason to kill each and every one on site and let it rot where they drop, I don't know one. Yeah, if you want to eat them, or you want to do something with them, that's great. But, with pigs, as far as I'm concerned, kill each and every one of them, as many as you can. Take what you can take, and let the others just rot on the spot. Because, they are just absolutely ravaging the Australian ecosystem. 
and like I said, um, not to mention farmers' incomes, millions and millions of dollars in agriculture losses each and every year. Shoot them all on the spot as far as I'm concerned.